Okay, so on the block there's that uh, that hip that was just taken off the leg of that bull moose. First thing we're going to take out is the hip bone, also known as the ace bone, also known as the pelvic bone. So we're going to cut around that, right down to the bottom. Let's guys curl up right there. Hip bone, gone. Now what we have left here is a boneless, boneless hip. This part right here is known as the heel muscle. My hook. Here's my hook. We're going to pull that out. Best thing to do is always to give it a little bit of a tug, kind of separates the muscle through the silver skin, pulls it off nice and clean. Now, we got the top round here, your bottom round, the eye of the round is in there. I'm going to separate those. There's the bottom round. Here's your eye of the round, that's going to come off next. Big gland that's inside there. Okay. There's the eye of the round. There we go. So there's your top round, eye of the round, bottom round, and the heel. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that. This here was the sirloin tip that we took off. And we're going to clean it up. None of my customers, I'm sure many don't, they don't like the silver skin and all the different muscles that are attached to it. So we clean it up here really good. There's the cap that comes off of it. And there's your sirloin tip. That's all going to get trimmed up. There's the long loin. Long loin still has the tenderloin in it. So we're going to pull out the fillet. Usually, guys take this out in the bush and they celebrate it, their kill by eating the fillet mignon and, of course, drinking a bunch of rye or beer. Sounds awesome to me. These guys left it in. That was close. There's that. Okay, now separate the top sirloin. We're going to follow that hip bone right here. Full top sirloin, we can be trimmed out. Turn that upside down. I tell always take off a good chunk of this back strap right away so I don't have to be fighting with it. And the trash that goes. I'm going to follow that line right down the backbone. And you said there's quite a few ribs that were left on here, which don't hurt my feelings none. Knowing the muscle structure is always a good thing, so you know where they're still getting their rib steaks and where they're getting their loin steaks. Plus, on the other hand, it makes it a little bit more even for carrying it. These hind quarters weighed just right in the ballpark of 100 pounds a piece, and the front quarters are right in the same, right in the same weight area. So it made it a little bit easier to carry rather than the hinds being about 75 pounds or so and the fronts being 130. So, and there's the strip loin and a little bit of the rib section ready to go. This here there's a little, a couple little tiny small pieces of meat I'll be taking off for their hamburger and for their sausage. So that's basically how you break down a hind quarter of moose. All ready to be trimmed up.